In this video, we're going to talk about the master vise from Real Avid. People have been asking about this master vise from Real Avid, and they've really wanted me to go over this. Well, I finally got one in. I've had it for a few months, and um, let's get to it because I had concerns about this vise, but then I got to play with one at Shot Show, and then got one after Shot Show, and I'm ready to really show you what we can do with this thing. Now my first concern with the Real Avid Vice is that it's got a ball and socket. And I wondered about torquing on this because, well, let's face it, a ball is not a very stable joint, right? You can't just really clamp down hard on this. So what they did here is they came up with this torque pin. So this torque pin goes in there and it locks the vise into certain positions. That way you can apply a lot of torque with it and it, you don't have to worry about friction on this ball to keep it going. Now, as you can see, I have the vise here and it can lock into this position and then it'll rotate 90 degrees. All the way around So back to where we started. So you get a lot of places that this thing will lock into. Now the other thing that this vise lets me do is actually, instead of working just straight up, I can pull it down too. So if I pull this out, as you can see, I can go down and then I can lock it and I have this clamp in the way because I haven't put in the full clamping system yet for this bench. And you can see right here, I can lock this in the down position. And again, I can rotate 90 degrees all the way around. So as you can see, just like before, I can lock this thing in. Now locking this thing in with this pin does take a little bit of fudging. And as you can see here, I'll jiggle it just a little bit to get it into the position I want it. Now, that's all fine and good, but what happens if I want, I don't know, my gun locked into a position like this? This is where the friction comes in. So I can rotate around here and loosen or tighten this ball up. And where I get it to the point that I want it, I can lock it down and pull on it. Now I'm 250 pounds. And look at me pulling on this thing. I mean, that's without the torque pin. And I'm putting my weight on it. So that's really impressed me with this vise. I didn't think that this joint would lock down that tight. Now I'm not sure I would want to torque a barrel this way, but if I'm working on a gun, I know that this thing is gonna stay in the position that I put it. Now let me rotate this back up here. Now you can see it's a little wobbly, but again, we just clamp down on that ball and it takes that wobble right out of this vise. Now, as you can see, we got cutouts right here. And that's where if you have one of these AR-15 smart fits. Now these things are really cool. I did play with this thing. And what happens is, as you can see, just slide right in clamp that in, and you're ready to work with an AR-15. Now you don't need to have one of their blocks to work on an AR-15. If you have a block already, you can use it. I've used another one before I even got this, and I didn't have any problems. Now I'm gonna open this back up, and one thing you have down here is there's a pad right here. And this pad clamps onto the rails and that keeps your gun floating above the screws. So that way you don't mark up the bottom of the gun if you have the thing clamped in here. One of the coolest things is these gun fit jaws. Now one side is foam and the other side is hard plastic. And I've done some gun work using the foam and it clamps right around the gun, no problem. Now, with these, you can see you have barrel cutouts already. So if you're working with like a pistol barrel, 
you can clamp the pistol barrel right in here. And one thing I like about it is this top rail right here is that you can clamp around a pick rail. So let me show you this in action. I'm going to pull these pins out. I'm going to put this in just like this. You take these pins. Now I'm going to take this rear sight off of this AR here. And I'll show you what I mean about going into a pick rail. Just like that, my AR is mounted upside down and it's not really going anywhere. I mean, yeah, I'm putting a lot of torque on this thing, but it's locked in there and that's just plastic. That's not even metal. And then we go through and let's say I want to work on my AR in that position. No problem. Now, there's not too many times I can think of working on an AR with the barrel down or even the barrel up, but you could. The one thing about going barrel down is now I can work on putting a buffer tube on. Something that's, you know, not that hard to do, but now instead of trying to work this way, I can work around. So now if I want to work on the other side of the AR, I can go past and lock it into place just like this, and I can work on the ejection cover here, or the forward assist. Now, if you're working with the ball here, and you're not doing it in a position where you're using the torque pin, they have a storage place for it right here. If it's in here, it does not lock it in place. It's just out of the way. So that way you don't lose that pin. Now, let me show you these soft jaws in use. So if I take these gun fit jaws off, Rotate them around. Fit them in. Rotate this up. And hopefully you'll see this on the camera up above. I'm trying to stay out of the way. So let's just say I want to work on it in this position. That foam just wraps right around that grip. Make sure this is locked in place. And there you go. I mean, yes, it's not a perfect fit, but it's fine for doing some cleaning or some light maintenance on this pistol. Now, what about putting a sight on? Let me show you something, because you know, working with sights, you gotta level everything. The really cool thing about this thing is that you can adjust that head six degrees either way. So now with that there, let's close up the gun, gun vise. Now if I put a level on here, I can sit there and monkey around with this, right? Or what if I just lock this thing in place? So now I have it locked in place, but if you can see off the above camera, this thing is not level. Well, this is where this adjustment is. There's a knob right here. I'm gonna rotate this. And of course, it's harder to do left-handed. Right there. There you go. The bubble's now level. So that's really cool that you can adjust back and forth. So that way you can get ready to do a scope. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't work for the other way. I really wish they had something that I could adjust either way. Now, I really showed you you could clamp down this ball, and we're not really going to be putting a lot of torque, not like putting a barrel on a gun. So what I did is I pulled the torque pin, store it, and I'm going to just take my level right there. So what I did is I mounted this barrel up using Real Avid's Love Glock upper vice block. 
Now what's really cool about this thing is, is that not, it doesn't rely on friction. I mean, sure there's friction because you clamp this into the vise, but it uses the pins from the vise jaws so you get a mechanical lock in there as well. I mean, how many times have I had to really clamp down on a vise for the upper receiver block just so I could do, you know, the barrel change? This thing works no problem with that. Now I use their Crowfoot. I have the master kit over here that that's going to be another video going through this master kit. This is the first time you use a Crowfoot onto a barrel. And I was really worried about, well, not the crow's foot so much, as much as can this thing take it? I mean, they say it takes 100 foot pounds of torque, but I'm skeptical. I want to know. So that's why I took my AR here and I pulled it off, right? I mean, I untorqued it and you can see right there, there's the barrel coming out. This thing took all the torque that I put it under. And that was the first time that I put this thing under torque. You saw me do this for the first time ever. It's really cool. I like this thing. So that's the real Avid Master Vice. What do you think? I'm really starting to like this thing. I mean, I liked it before. It was great for cleaning, but this is the first time I did something gunsmithing on it. And if anything was gonna fail, this is what I thought it was gonna fail under. So let's hear you down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there and I look forward to seeing you again soon.